My name is Ali. I'm 11 years old. I'm traveling to Oregon. The reason I'm traveling there is to find a family. You see, I'm an orphan. It seems way harder than you think to go from South Carolina to Oregon as well. You see, no one knows what is out there, so you have to be very careful out there in the wild because you don't know what could happen. So on my journey, I went. I faced such a, I faced a lot of challenges, such as lack of food and water. If I can't drink or eat food or water, I can't survive, so then the journey is very pointless. So I slowly started off. Each day I walked an average about 15 miles. Along the way, I met one, of my, I met one friend. Her name is Jessica. She's also looking for a family. We are very good friends. We both have a lot in common. One day, we, while Jessica and I were traveling, some Indians attacked us. We were really scared. It was so scary, you couldn't even imagine it. It's like a bull running right towards you to kill you. Like if you were a bullfighter. That very night, they came for, to seek revenge since so we ran away. They stole me, and I was terrified. They took me to this strange cave, and they were about to sacrifice me for some ceremony they were doing. It was so terrifying. I'm so lucky to have Jessica by my side because that day, that very day and night, she still stood up for me. And she went there, and she hunted them down, and she, and she saved me, and we ran. I, we barely made it out of there alive, especially me. Another challenge we faced was the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River is so big, we can we barely could swim that. It, it's like a bunch of elephants being. It's so big, a bunch of elephants are able to live in there. And so, there was one family who was willing to help us. Either way, we barely made it across. It was so kind of them to help us. We are we were very thankful for that. So in the end, Jessica and I couldn't find our family. So big, whoop, so big whoop. Nothing bad happened. I mean, we still had each other, and we still considered each other family. We, we considered our, each other f sisters and family. So we both worked as farmers. Eventually, we saved enough money to buy our own little house. And that's my story of crossing the U.S. for the gold rush. Do you have one?